Okay guys, we've got a side-by-side -side target now, and we're going to shoot the FMP45 and the SIG220 a little bit uh, faster than we've been shooting. So DC is going to light it up a little bit here and give his impressions. Go for it. That was the 220? Yeah. Does it look as bad as it feels? <laughs> Got one high, but the rest are pretty close in there. Yeah. Okay, so you're loading up the FMP? Yep. All right. Whenever you're ready. I don't know where that went. I don't know where my first shot went with the FNP. It's uh, right in the black at the uh, lower left there. So I, I, that first shot was a brute. Okay. <laughs> with that double action trigger. Did it go off before you expected it, or was it just? I, I no start, idea. Started pressing through too soon. Okay. Uh, well, the rest uh, overall, the FMP is a little tighter. A little what tighter. if we, uh, re, you know, put another eight rounds in, and you feel kind of filled in the groups and. We'll just kind of look at the average uh, group size. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, here we go. Round two. We're going to start with the uh, SIG P220, which was on the right side target. Whenever you're, you're ready, we're filming. I like how you always jerk the last shot that doesn't count any. You know, but hey man, you're shooting 45 fast. That's how it goes. Crushing bullseye. That felt a lot better. A lot of those shots went in a lot better spot. Oh. Okay. Something to notice there. Not in the battery all the way. Not in the battery. And I, and I know uh, some of the tactical guys out there are going to argue with me because I do use a slide stop right. uh, when I can reach them. Right. I know that's not as reliable as pulling the slide all the way to the rear. Uh, just have it. Also, we're dealing. We're not dealing with a, a SWAT team member. We're we're dealing with a, an IPSC shooter here. So there's some difference. So that was pretty good. That wasn't a real bad jam, but it took some energy there to get the rest that. of the way. So yeah, you pushed pretty hard. Kind of interesting. Okay. Alright, let's hit the target first and uh, DC can gather his thoughts here. Left side, FMP45, right side, SIG P220. Tell me what you think. Well, first go around, I felt uh, better with the FMP. The second go around, I felt better with the, the P220. I think we've got a, we got a measuring tape out there. Maybe excluding that very first shot that I pulled way low with this, I think we'd have overall some pretty equal groups. Um, How about we bring it in and you can kind yeah. of talk us through the group a little. See if you recall anything when you see the, the bullet holes. Well, this was that first shot with the FNP. From the first, uh, first test. First test, first shot, double action. Not too proud of that. Okay. Not too proud of any of this. Uh, I am... I'm looking at the SIG groups over here. We're pretty squared away. Yeah, uh, pretty in line. Right. Uh, this, I seem to be pulling left. Okay. Um, one thing is I definitely don't like these sights. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. Both of these are used guns. I don't know the exact ages and how long each gun's been around and where. This uh, is a little shiny in back. This sight's getting a little shiny. Um, you know, and, and that I get a little glare from that, but that's, again, that's no excuse for something like that. That's me right there. That's just pressing home too too soon. That's just being, shooting too fast. Okay. Um, you know, for my ability with these guns. Okay. Um, I, I'm, I'm kind of split. I you really can almost call like, it a tie. Huh? You can almost call it a tie. I, I, I feel like I could be real happy with either gun. Okay. 
Uh, they both come in a model that I'm looking for, which is the tactical with the threaded barrels. Um, it's possible that I would lean towards this over a couple of other features that we haven't talked about. I know I mentioned uh, that I can get to everything with my right, my strong hand. I can push everything with this gun. Okay. Uh, versus I can't do that with this. All right. Also, this doesn't have any magazine release. So, for some reason, I was using my left hand. Maybe this was no good. I know that I can do it with this. But I also have no slide stop, anything like that. Sure, you know, I could get fancy. Mm -hmm. uh, but I like that it's there. It's an option. And they gave it to me, so I'm going to take it. Also, these come with, in the tactical, they come with one 8 round and one 10 round mag. These come with three 15 round magazines. Uh, so what they offer, and the fact that I can carry this gun with 15 rounds uh, in the tactical model, uh, or this, this model here, uh, that's a big bonus. Uh, you never know how much you're going to need, and uh, I, I really like that. Uh, I also like the grip a little better, the aggressiveness of this feels like it really just, I don't know, it just feels good in my hand. It was you, This was unique in the group, the 220 being a single stack. Yeah. Uh, we kind of failed to, to talk about that. Yeah, but, yep. Uh, that could have some bearing there, especially in the speed shooting, that yeah. you're not dealing with the big, thick grip, but instead of a little bit thinner. Yeah, that's true. And for a single stack, it still feels thick, but it definitely, I have a more traditional high handhold with this gun, um, higher than most maybe. Mm -hmm. Uh, this gun I can get pretty high here, uh, but I don't feel quite as high. Um, again, I could be real happy with either gun. Alright guys, uh, we just decided we'd have a little bit of fun and just uh, dump eight rounds in the target there at 10 feet as fast as you can, pull the trigger. Honestly, I won't even be looking at sights, it'll be target focus at this kind of distance. Uh, I'm sticking with eight rounds since we're limited to eight with this magazine here. Just have some fun. Go for it. See how it looks. We got that jam again. <laughs> just, just for kicks. Here, the battery. Let's, uh, let's try this the right way. Interesting. Same, same thing. All right. So, kind of interesting. I don't know. You know what? Before I shoot, we're gonna try it with this ammo, the S and B, and see yeah. if we're getting the same deal. Maybe we need a little oil, um, it's a little dry, you know, it's right off the shelf, used. Uh, I didn't take time to clean either of these guns, but that's not an excuse either in my book. Alright, guys, we are shooting these guns dry, we're not favoring anything, we're really running them through the ringer here. One thing DC just noticed was with a full mag, the gun ran fine, or with 10 rounds was it? Yeah, I loaded this up, this mag here holds 14, I loaded it to 14, I inserted it in the gun, I, I dropped it both this way as well as using the slide stop. And it chambered the round no problem. But with five rounds, it, five rounds, when we were doing five round grips, it chambered no problem. Eight but rounds. For some reason, when I've got eight in the gun, it's, it's, it's not liking that number. And that's, that's almost unacceptable. Okay, take that mag out and uh, put five in it. See what happens since we're on the subject here. <laughs> okay. Now let's put ten in it. Or eight was it? Yeah. Let's put eight in. There's five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> okay, so it's happening with eight. So that that's not cool in my book. No. Um, so we might just have a, a a mag issue there. We'll sort through that. Yeah. Alright, so let's dump things, huh? We're ready. Now it works. <laughs> it's dirty, it's dry. Go for it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two through one hole or three? Uh, That's all right, doesn't matter. Let's see the 220. Tell me what you think right when you're done. Wow. Longer reset? Yeah. I saw that got you. Yep, longer reset. 
I'm not letting it reset all the way. Uh, just, just harder to shoot a gun fast. Yeah. Um, okay. So, it takes a little bit of the fun out of it for me. Okay. Uh, I felt a little more accurate though. Don't know if I was or not. I think you were actually. So, you filled them in there. Interesting, man. I, I'm impressed to see how, how well the SIG's doing yeah. in this lineup. Yep, it's doing well.